So welcome to Gran Canaria. Welcome to Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. Remember the island, the name of the island. So Gran Canaria is one of Spain's Canary Islands, somewhere just off the northwest coast of Africa, and is renowned for its black volcanic and white sandy beaches. Gran Canaria is the third largest of the Canary Islands, has a population of around 900,000 people and measures some 602 square miles or 1,560 square kilometres. Like most of the Canary Islands, uh, their main uh, export is bananas which you can see all along the roadside. They like to keep them near the uh, water because the humidity is necessary to make them grow. Our first stop on our trip today is to the lovely little village of, and I hope I pronounce this correctly, Argeita. And who thought Fred Olsen only did cruise ships? And from here we would uh, progress up into the mountains where we would visit a lovely little uh, vineyard. Uh, but first we have to navigate these little narrow streets. Now we were on a coach and all credit to the coach driver for getting up there. I wouldn't like to do it in a car. And in this vineyard, it's not only uh, wine that they make. Uh, here we have some orange trees, more bananas, and of course, coffee. They make their own coffee here, which we would sample later, along with some wine and cheese. them drying under the sun minimum 25 days we want to to keep them here as much as possible why because the properties of the coffee are in the peel and what we want is that the the, uh, the red seed at the end absorbs all the properties of the of the peel The 
The Canary Islands are in fact named after a dog, of all things. But I did manage to find some canaries. Um, having initially been told you won't find any canaries on the Canary Islands, well, the proof is in the pudding and here they are. Our visit finally over and it was back down those really narrow mountain roads um, out onto the motorway and back to our cruise ship. I'll leave you to enjoy some of the scenery as we uh, make our way back. Oh, hello again, Fred. Uh, this is actually the, the ferry that we saw earlier, and it goes between all the Canary Islands, and you can get your car on there and passengers as well. Time to depart this port and I could hear lots of shouting going on so I was out of the uh, balcony to have a look and our little friend here who was uh, taking the mooring lines off managed to snag it over that little projectile that you can see. Uh, it took a few minutes to uh, sort all out. Um, I've uh, cut out all the swearing but um, please watch and see how he gets that rope off of the snagged mooring bollard.
With that safely achieved, it was time to get changed and ready for our evening meal. I did notice as we uh, sailed away from this port that perhaps we were dredging the harbour for everyone. There was certainly an awful lot of sand and mud being kicked up. Uh, surely the uh, depth of water was enough for the boat? Hmm, maybe not. So that concludes our trip to Gran Canaria. As we sail away tomorrow, it's Tenerife. 
where we will meet more plantations of bananas, where we'll see the odd volcano, and Carol will have an interesting one-way conversation. <laughs>